Hi guys, Korean movie recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap Korean's financial thriller movie released in 2019, called Money. This movie tells the story of a man who dreams of becoming a successful stockbroker. However, it is difficult for him to develop because there is no moral support from his work environment. Until one day, there was a man who promised a lot of money if he worked as an illegal stockbroker, by following this man's orders. Will he take that chance and fulfill his dream as a successful stockbroker? Let's find out together. The story started with a dreamer named Hyun, who recently worked at the number one stock brokerage firm in South Korea. One of Hyun's goals working there was because he wanted to get rich quickly and wanted to make his parents happy. His parents were raspberry farmers so Hyun was nicknamed Raspberry by his superiors. Turns out, Hyun has extraordinary intelligence who can memorize all the stock codes on the South Korean stock exchange. At his workplace, the president director comes and motivates all employees to beat the stock market and take as much profit as possible. The job of the employees there is to buy or sell shares according to client orders. The more transactions they make, the more profit they will get. Unfortunately, on the first day of work, Hyun did not make any profit. Every now and then, Hyun helps his parents with gardening to supplement their income. Then, he got the bad news about his father being diagnosed with a small tumor in his liver that needed to be removed immediately. Back at work, Hyun finally lands his first client. However, he was confused about whether to buy or sell his shares because the information provided was not clear. And finally, after he saw the stock exchange back then, he decided to buy it. But it turned out that the decision he made was wrong and his client was immediately angry and asked him to return the money again. As a result, his boss got angry and cut off all of Hyun's team bonuses. After 10 months of work, Hyun is still not a successful stockbroker. He feels like a burden to his team and gets very drunk when he hangs out with his team. One of his friends, named June, asked him to take a break to feel the massage to release his thoughts. But in the middle of the conversation, June offers him to follow the illegal practice of using the stock market to make big and quick profits. If Hyun wants to join, there will be someone who will guide him like June experienced. In his first stunt, June earned $800,000, this of course made Hyun very tempted. In the next day, Hyun immediately meets someone named Ticket, who will help him in this illegal job. Without further ado, Ticket gave him directions for his first job. Hyun will be given a fake client and he will also be given a special phone to follow any instructions over the phone. The first transaction that Hyun will accept is worth $50 million and he will receive a profit of $500,000. That was 250 times from his current salary. One thing that Hyun has to keep is the secret of this job. Back in his office, Hyun surprises his boss by landing a client who's about to make a $50 million deal. With Ticket's help, Hyun successfully completes his first mission. On the other hand, the watchdog detects this unusual transaction. In fact, the director immediately took Hyun's cell phone to confirm that this transaction was a client request. After hours, Hyun managed to get $50,000 from his workplace. Everyone started glancing at Hyun, including one of the beauties at work. After that, Ticket asked him to open an account overseas so he wouldn't be flashy. The profits, Hyun used to buy an apartment and his father's surgery costs. Hyun also invites his girlfriend to enjoy a special meal at a famous restaurant. While in the toilet, Hyun gets a warning from the financial supervisor named Han, who is often nicknamed the hunting dog. When discussing the threat, it seemed that Ticket had planned everything carefully. It turns out that the fake client he registered was a tramp, so Han would lose track of him. There's no evidence that Hyun did anything wrong, moreover Han only threatened him in the toilet, not stormed his office. After some time, the beautiful woman in his office started to approach Hyun because of his success. Hyun couldn't focus because there was a beautiful scene in front of his eyes. In fact, Hyun got the woman's private number to take her out for a walk. Back at his job, Ticket has given him a new mission to work on. He got a new client that was previously held by his friend. The total transaction was fantastic, worth $700 million. And Hyun will get a profit of $1.2 million from the transaction. June, who used to take him in this illegal job, begins to hate him for his success. Instantly, Hyun became a very rich person. 
not long after, and returned to hunt for Hume. He even asked about tickets. Then, and showed him the suspicious photo evidence. After that, Hume met up with Ticket again. Ticket asks him to stay calm and confident. He also invites Hume on vacation to the Bahamas to refresh as well as see his savings which are already worth $1.4 million. When he returned from vacation, it turned out that the prosecutor's office had raided his company. Later, Hume was summoned and interrogated by them. But since there was no concrete evidence of his crime, Hume could breathe a sigh of relief. On the other hand, June gets a rumor of an extramarital affair which makes the director turn all of June's clients over to Hume. Eventually, June leaves the company and blames Hume for this incident. Apart from that, there were also rumors that a beautiful woman in his company slept with the investment manager to profit from him. Hearing that, Hume was very confident to approach him. But as a result, he was kicked out by his girlfriend who had been loyal to him for a long time. However, Hume gets something more special which is, you know what, from the beautiful woman in his office. The next day, the surveillance officers again interrogated Hume. He said there was a man who had just committed suicide and a few hours earlier had called Hume's cell phone. It turns out that, apart from Hume, there is also his co-worker, Gu, who is involved with Ticket. Han threatened him for his illegal actions. Worried that he will be dragged away, Gu teams up with Jun to catch Ticket and hand it over to Han. The next day, Hume wants to meet Gu at his office. But since he hasn't made an appointment, Hume can't meet him. And suddenly, Gu fell dead from the top of the building. Later, Ticket sent someone to send a threatening message against Hume. After that, his best friend warns Hume to be careful, considering that there is Han who is always after him and there are women who just want to take advantage of him. Not long after, Hume and Ticket meet again at a station to discuss a new job related to vacant sales. This illegal act can bring down a bankrupt company. However, this time Hume tried to deny it and said that ticket money must be very big. But apparently, Ticket does this not for money but for a hobby. For this work, Hume will get a reward of $5 million. Hearing that, Hume of course agreed and would return to action. Meanwhile, Han begins to approach a beautiful woman who is close to Hume to uncover Hume's illegal work. Han manages to threaten her with her scandalous affair with several investment managers. When Hume starts his stunts at work, this beautiful woman secretly copies all files related to Hume's clients. Just then, there was tension in the director's room as everyone was worried about Hume's dealings. However, the director who saw the advantages of this transaction, asked Hume to continue. While bad luck befalls June, he becomes Ticket's next assassination target. Outside the building, it turns out that Han and his team are ready to trap Hume. When Hume realized it, Hume immediately ran away and was hit by a motorbike. After that, Hume contacted Ticket and they met at the hospital where June was being treated. There, June's condition was seen which was very severe due to being hit by a truck. As it turned out, this was a threat to Hume if he leaked everything to Han, then his fate would be like June. Shortly thereafter, Han officially conducts the raid and takes Hume in for questioning. Han also has proof of all of Hume's transactions on a flash drive. Later, Han forced him to make a deal and handed over the ticket. After that, Ticket told Hume to do the last $30 million job. Then, Hume plans to buy all of Wu Sung's shares according to Ticket's wishes. But then, Hume sold it back when the market was about to close. It was then that Hume bought all of Wu Sung's shares using his personal money he kept in the Bahamas, with the help of a friend Hume met there. He did this to trick the inspection supervisor. Ticket, realizing that Hume has been playing around, sends a hitman to kill Hume. But because there were many officers there, Hume managed to survive. At the end of the movie, Hume returns to meet Ticket at a station. But now things are different, Ticket is furious that Hume betrayed him. Apparently, Hume had made a deal with Han to capture Ticket. However, their intentions are revealed when Ticket finds a voice recorder under Hume's shirt. So they failed to get any evidence regarding Ticket's involvement and couldn't make an ambush. Suddenly out of nowhere, assassin Ticket came and stabbed Hume with a knife. The prosecutor's team quickly caught the killer. Meanwhile, Han tries to block Ticket before getting on the train. Since Han walked in without evidence, it made Ticket confident that he could get away with being charged. 
but as it turns out, Yoon has been secretly recording all of his conversations with Ticket during the two years they work together. Yoon hands it over as evidence to Han and he has legal grounds to arrest Ticket. Moments later, the train passengers got off and there was a crowd there. At that time, Yoon fled by entering a train that immediately departed. Yoon also provided additional evidence via a call to Han in the form of a phone that he had always used to contact Ticket for the past two years. And right then and there, the movie ends with Hume's freedom. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and see you, next time.